Hello, Pisces. We're doing a love reading for you today. So let's see how your person is feeling about you, what their intentions are toward you. I hope that this is a good reading because I've done five of them so far and not one. Not one has been positive. So I was just saying in one of the other videos that these double retrograde, the double retrograde that happened uh, really a number on people's relationships and there's a lot of them that did not survive so all right pisces let's take a look at your situation pisces person how do they feel what are their intentions what are they thinking okay not many cards here oh okay so i'm in a much better headspace now Okay, that's positive. We're off to a good start. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. And we have, I wish I could take back the things I said. So somebody is learning to appreciate you now. I feel like they, they took you for granted at some point. But um, they have seen the error of their ways. So it is positive. see what the island time wellness oracle cards have to say pisces what is pisces person thinking feeling what are their intentions they don't want to talk too much is your person not a big talker okay we have not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy at the bottom, we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. So yeah, this def this person definitely has you on their mind. Um, they do have a, more of a sense of appreciation for you. But at the same time, there's, there's definitely a disconnect. So some of you may be needing, you know, just to maybe spend more time together to improve your communication. Maybe some of you need like counseling or something like that, but there, there seems to be a disconnect between the two of you. I don't necessarily feel like this is, um, you know, like you're doing, like I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I just think this person, they were going through something, okay, where they just did not feel up to part, like maybe they just didn't feel they were good enough for you or or you know if if you perhaps criticize them or um or they feel like they were being criticized so maybe in in your view you weren't criticizing them but that's how they feel so this may be a person who's very insecure um and is easily uh, offended or you know this could be somebody who's very sensitive but even if they don't show it okay so so there may be a lot of things that that are left unsaid um, and so this person may kind of hold on to re resentment or uh, sort of hold a grudge and then, uh, you know, take it out on you somehow, like in the future. So let's say you say something that's negative to them three days from now, they, they could do something to get back at you or something like that. Something really, uh, but they know, they know that <laughs> this is not a way to behave. So there is potential there for change because at least I, I, I do feel like there is self-awareness. So let's see, let's pull some tarot. Pisces. Okay, the star. Yeah, I do feel like you're hopeful. You're getting more clarity on the situation, like you're seeing things now uh, for what they really are and I, I kind of feel like you you have this expectation of healing through this uh, with your partner You want to heal you want to make things better between the two of you. This is really what you desire Your person Eight of cups eight of wands hmm. I'm going to clarify that the eight of cups is about walking away but i don't get the sense that they want to walk away so this may be like i feel like there's remember i said that your person is going through something they're carrying some kind of emotional baggage 
Um, again, I, I look, Eight of Wands is about communication or things that are said, conversations, things like that. So again, I'm picking up that there, there have been conversations between the two of you in which your partner felt less than, you know, or, or they, they're somehow feeling um, like they don't measure up either to your expectations or they're comparing themselves to you somehow. But I'm getting here emotional baggage that they they know they need to leave behind. They know they have to face whatever this, this baggage is and work through it in order to have a chance uh, at having, you know, a prosperous relationship with you. So, again, a positive sign because it, it's, it's a sign of self-awareness. And I think, you know, in any situation, self-awareness is like half the battle because there's nothing worse than being with a person who doesn't see anything that they do wrong. You know, that that's pretty much dead in the water, right? There is no hope there. But here, I feel like there is hope. And I feel like you have hope. You're very optimistic here. So that's good. What is the potential between Pisces and their person? Ooh, I like that. Yes. You're the first positive reading I've had, Pisces, so thank you. <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit like, is it is it me? <laughs> okay, so the, the potential is that you guys could definitely, you know, be very much long term. You know, if you're already married, then it, it, there is potential for that to continue. Um, there's potential for you to continue building, you know, if, if maybe you're not married, maybe you're just dating, but this is your potential. You know, it is dependent upon both of you putting in the, the, the time, the energy, the love, the patience that's uh, necessary to make this happen. So it's not just your person because it, it is you as well. Because I am picking up that this person is very much influenced by whatever you say to them. So if you catch yourself, you know, saying negative things or uh, making negative comments about them, this really weighs heavily on them, even if they don't show it. Okay, they may be, uh, you know, a very stoic sort of person um, because I get the sense that, you know, whatever this emotional baggage is, whatever they feel, it's completely repressed. Like you, you, most people would have no idea that this person is even going through anything because they don't show it. All right, so that's part of the problem because, you know, how would, how would you know unless they tell you? But what you do need to know is that whatever you say has a very big impact on them for good and for bad okay um okay so advice what is the advice for pisces hmm? five of swords six of cups so there's something from the past that needs to be confronted whether it causes conflict or not, because I feel like a lot of situ in a lot of situations, you both um, choose to just sweep things under the rug. You choose to not acknowledge certain uh, situations that happen, or um, you know, like instead of fighting, you prefer to just maintain the peace, um, which is. You know, it seems like a good idea in the moment, but long term, it ends up it ends up biting you in the ass, quite honestly. Because at some point, this is gonna you know resurface whatever these conflicts are, and so I do feel like the advice here is for you to address address whatever conflict has been happening in the past, whatever it is that. You don't like but I, I feel as though you know it's very important how you approach the matter okay because if you're coming in, coming in with you know um, name calling for example not to say that that's what you're doing but I'm giving you an example if you come in with like name calling and stuff like that you're just you're obviously they're gonna shut down and that's part of the problem is that they have been shutting down and just um, accumulating all this um, maybe anger resentment hurt you know but it doesn't have to be that way so 
Okay, what is the outcome? The most likely outcome. Outcome. Hangman, okay. That's your card, Pisces. Okay, so Ace of Swords. Again, communication. I feel like that's really the key here is how well you guys are communicating, um, telling you know the truth about how you're feeling and what you want and what you don't like, but in a loving way. Okay, so so good communication. Um, we have the Hierophant and the Empress. So some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. Hmm. I'll be honest with you. I, I see a lot of love here, but at the same time, it's like whatever happened in the past, it, it, it has definitely like wounded someone it, it, and it's it's very much putting this relationship at risk okay so you do need to know that let's clarify these cards here for you one more all right pisces Swords reverse. Emperor. King of Pentacles reverse. Give me one more. of swords bottom of the deck we have the two of wands in reverse <sighs> mm. I feel like you guys may be so no decisions have been made here, but I, I do feel as though you're at least exploring um, the potential of finding somebody better or this has crossed your mind. Because I'm seeing here, you know, with the emperor and the king of pentacles in reverse, um, some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the Emperor next to the King of Pentacles in reverse, I'm actually picking up on like you desiring because the star card is about, you know, uh, what you truly desire, your wishes, your dreams, your aspirations. Uh, Eight of Swords reverse is about setting yourself free from a situation where you thought you were stuck, but you're actually not stuck. You can completely choose to walk away. Um, and so with that being in the reverse and, and the emperor and the king of pentacles being here together i feel as though you are thinking about upgrading <laughs> your partner so either either they change and become this emperor that you you wish to have you know this person who is like rock solid um super dependable very much respected you know somebody that you can look up to and respect that's what you want. Um, but I'm feeling here with the King of Pentacles in reverse, maybe your person is not very reliable or they're not good with money, something like that. And so you have these high expectations that I feel like you've been waiting to see if this person, if your person lives up to that. But I am getting the sense here that I don't see you doing it right now, but I, I, I do see you, you know, with the page of swords being here, it's like you're you're considering an idea. Okay, this is just an idea for, for right now. But um, this idea could have a very <laughs> uh, big ramifications. All right, so the eight of cups. Six of pentacles. 
Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person wants to move past, you know, the conflict um, that you guys had been, been experiencing. They do want a give and take. They want for this relationship to be on equal ground. So they may feel like it's not on equal ground at this point. Um, they somehow may feel... They may even think that like you don't you don't really love them the way that you used to. But they do feel like, you know, if you were just if you if you could just um, get over or, or talk about or um, iron out, you know, there, there's a particular conflict here that it's a big focus in this reading. So maybe that like a reoccurring fight that you guys have or there's a particular theme. It's going to be different, obviously, for each of you because it is a general reading, um, which, by the way. If, if you're interested in a more personalized uh, reading, I am going to run a sale for the entire month of February. Um, it, it's, a, it's a love reading. It's pretty much what I'm doing here is what I'm going to be doing, um, except it would be personalized for you, you and your person. Um, but it's really just an energy read. There are no, no questions. Um, it's just going to be like a 15 or 20 minute reading. Uh, the price is $22.22. And... It will tell you how your person feels about you and you know more or less how this uh, reading is is um, conducted that's how it's going to be so if you're interested um, just check the description box below you can email me at eyes of the stars tarot at gmail.com all right so yeah they want to be with you they're willing to you know give and take with you they're willing to um, Put from their part basically but they do feel like this conflict needs to be resolved because it affects them very much emotionally so i continue to see that all right let's see what the conflict is five of swords we have the nine of pentacles reverse so you may very well um, fight a lot about money Again, I'm getting the sense of uh, somebody not pulling their weight or not being dependable with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So Nine of Pentacles in the upright is about being self-sufficient. You know, you don't you don't really need anyone to to um, cover, you know, like your expenses or your responsibilities or anything. You're just, you do your thing and you're very much self-sufficient. So somebody here is not that. <laughs> they are not self-sufficient. And so there is a conflict. So maybe you guys have like different, philosophies on handling money or you know how things need to be done and that's what needs to be um, ironed out here let's see what else the five of swords five of cups reverse yeah this is about you know apologizing um getting past the hurt the conflict and we have knight of pentacles okay this is about an offer I'm getting compromised. There, there needs to be some sort of compromise. Um, aside from the communication, which is absolutely the most important uh, message of this reading, is that there needs to be a change in how you communicate with each other. Because there's there's a lot to iron out here. There's a lot to, to work through. Okay, so the outcome... Oh, sorry, I, oh, I forgot to do this one. Let me, let's look at the potential. Ten of Pentacles. Potential. All right, we have the Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, that's good. This worry, this anxiety and stress, um, looks like there's potential to um, do away with that. The sun, wow, the sun is happiness. It's probably, you know, the best card aside from the Ten of Pentacles. So you have two amazing cards here. And even the Nine of Swords, because it is in the reverse, it's actually a positive. 
one more. Okay, seven of wands. Yeah, you know, I, I feel as though we have the two of wands here in reverse. Okay. You can definitely reach this with, with your person. It's absolutely a possibility. It can happen. But you both have to kind of fight for it. Okay, so you have to think to yourself, does this person truly make you happy? It, it looks like they do. Okay, or maybe not at this moment, but they have at some point and they have the potential to continue to make you happy. But both of you need to really be serious about this and be willing to fight for it. So it can't be just one person saying, oh, woe is me. Uh, you make all the mistakes and I'm just a victim. That's not going to work. It has to be, you know, both of you understanding what each of you needs to change in order to get to this point. Okay, so you need to both get on the same page. So the outcome is the hangman, which is your card. It's your energy, I should say. Uh, Eight of Cups. Same card is here. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, reverse. Um, because this is your card, Pisces, well, I should say, especially because this is your card, um, I feel as though you, in particular, need to take some time to reevaluate this whole situation because I do feel like there's something here, an element here that you're not quite understanding or, or you're, you're just not aware at the moment, okay? So um, there is a need for you to, you know, kind of step outside of the situation for some time and um, just look at it in a different way. Try to, try to see things from your partner's perspective um, because with the Eight of Cups being here, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles reverse, I, you know, like I said here, this has the potential to be something great. And I do feel like your partner acknowledges that and they want that as well. But there are things here, and, and I have to say, I feel like however it is that you're communicating with your partner, if that continues, they're going to walk away eventually like this or you're going to walk away like the relationship is just not going to work and it's just going to fall apart um because it's creating distance every single day like you become a little bit more distant a little bit more distant and uh i do feel like you need some self-reflection to see like how how you're playing into that how you are contributing to to that situation or to your partner wanting to detach more and more each day i don't want to put the blame on you but because, you know, it, it's never the blame of one person. It's always, you know, it's two people in a relationship. And if it's not working, it's, uh, you know, both people's fault. <laughs> Some one way or another. Uh, we may not be able to see it immediately. Immediately, Like you may be saying to yourself, no, I'm, I'm like amazing to this person. I do everything for them. And that may very well be true. But let's say you're doing everything for them. And when they make you angry, you know, you call them an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, happens to me all the time, <laughs> but yeah, that, whatever that is, just an example, I'm not saying that's, that's how you speak to your partner, but if it is, just know that it affects them very deeply and that's not going to, you know, they're not going to deal with that for too long. You know, even though they love you, they feel like there's nobody better than you for them, but, um, but they can't go on, you know, feeling this way indefinitely, you know, and, and I see that. I see that happening here, that they may very well just continue to, to detach until you guys are just kind of drift, drift apart, okay? So that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.